It's Karen. You free? I was gonna go to the club. I need to talk to Vera about something. Well, when you get a chance, come see me. Could use some help with something, okay? Hey, uh, this E-Man guy said that... Karen? You made it! Nice. I need some backup, and my usual go-to is out of town. Yeah, it's good to see you too. Come on, we're going to Dunnerlin. What's in Dunnerlin? A good old-fashioned arms deal. Just need to grab a little something-something to help protect what little Vera has left. So, what's your deal? My deal? Yeah, like, what's your story? Once upon a time, there was a girl who didn't really feel like playing the getting-to-know-you game. That's my story. Ha! <laughs> playing hard to get, okay. I see how it's gonna be. Yeah, just drive, Southie. I lied to you last night. About my brothers. We didn't shoot at rats. We ran with like a... like a crew, I guess. But I got out. Stuck to fighting instead. Good to know. Yo, rockers, it's that time of day when I get to give away a couple free concert tickets. Today we've got two general Stop up here. to Rosie Palm and the Fast Five. Luis, what goodies have you got for me today? Sorry, Karen. My hands are tied here. Ah, <sighs> seriously? Take them out! Jason, grab cover! What the hell was that? Frank must have gotten to Luis and applied some pressure. Fuckers get an aggro on us all of a sudden. Cause of me? Probably. <sighs> At least Luis left the guns. Gonna take these to a safe house. Then I need to meet with Vera, figure out a plan. Hope I'm not gonna regret pulling you out of that car, Jason. Jason, we got a chat. Come meet me.
Hell yeah. The smash hits. Judges got a judge. Yearn for Yelena and hold me closer. Vote to right commander. Drive around while we talk. Okay, so we all got a Frank problem. Maybe we should skip the talking and get to the part where we take action. Action? No, no. I'm gonna arrange a sit-down. We'll hash out some things, I'm gonna vouch for you, and then things will go back to normal. And what's normal? You stay out of his way until he gets tired of playing by the rules? Again? Until he takes control of this entire city and leaves you with nothing? Is that the Vegas you want? Frank tried to ruin the one good thing I had going for me. My fighting. Thought he could walk right in and just take. I've known guys like Frank my whole life. Back in Boston, there was a jerk-off just like him who thought loyalty was a one-way street. Sure, he'll play nice while it's in his interest, but the next thing you know, your brother's dead. And you're buying a one-way ticket to Las Vegas just to keep your fingers. I'm done taking shit from the Franks of the world. It's time for Frank Valiano to start playing by our rules. Easier said than done, kid. Frank's got friends, like Winston Goodman. And that's where we start.
is everyone? Out celebrating. Karen called and said it was a rousing success. Feels good, doesn't it? I hope we didn't just start a war. I hope we did. Hello? Jason, hey, I'm a friend of Karen's. Well, I don't know, friend is such a passe term. It's more like we were in kindergarten together and I've been kind of oddly obsessed with her ever since. And she's been nice enough to indulge my obsessions by hanging out with me from time to time. Yeah. Uh, okay. Ronnie Q, by the way. Like the DJ girl? Exactly like the DJ girl. So hey, uh, Karen says you're good at causing a little mayhem. True story, I like causing a little mayhem myself from time to time. You ever want to get into a little trouble together, come see, okay? Yeah. Sure. Karen say anything else about me? Who's Karen? Oh, right. <laughs> no, not really. Anyway, gotta go. Uh, come see me. Let's break stuff. What up, E? War rages on. I have been instructed by the Empress to task you with the task of stealing the Tyrant King's chariot. Uh, you talking about an actual chariot or like a car? You never know in Vegas. I am, in fact, referring to a luxury automobile. For Frank, being delivered today in the Industrial District, which you're going to go steal and deliver to an acquaintance of ours as a way of saying, Dear Mr. Belliano, the days of you having nice things will soon be over. Sincerely, fuck you. Any questions? Nope, just tell me where to go.
Nicely done, young squire. Bravo. Bravo. Oh, this will make a nice addition to my collection. Well, hopefully it'll send a message that we don't intend to... Hey, where are you going? Taking my new pet for a joyride. Toodaloo, boys. Keep fighting the good fight. So, I guess we just walk? Yep. It's fucking hard being a stone-cold pimp. Am I right? Uh... BT Dubs, Muscle. If you ever need some extra cash, you can snag a car and bring it to this or any one of Carl's fine choppity choppity establishments. Nice. Good to know. Kid. Considering we're pretty much at war with the most powerful man in Nevada, pretty good. Hey, don't forget, you started this war. You and Karen. What's next? What's next is that you gotta take out Mick Valenti, one of Frank's lieutenants. Good kid, too. It's too bad. Why him? Cause he and some other guys are coming to kill you. How do you know this? Acquaintance of mine is Valenti's barber. Kid was yapping his trap about it while getting his pompadour primmed. All right, fine. They want me, they'll get me.
Vera, Mick won't be going to your barber friend anymore. Good work, kid. There's a bunch of other high-value targets walking around out there in Vegas. Upper echelon scumbags just waiting to be taken out. Probably got a lot of money or weapons or who knows on them. Be the one to take them out, and what's theirs is yours. I'll keep that in mind. You do that. And, uh, kid. Glad you're not dead. Thanks. Me too. Hello? Hey, kid. Listen. Consider trying to have a little fun while we figure things out. Swing by the Greek Phalanx Casino. Play some cards. Play some slots. Look for a friend of... Doll. She'll show you the ropes. Okay. What's in Lucky. Hello? Muscle! Is that you? I, I need your help! E? What's up? I can't say more on the phone. They... They might be listening. Who might be listening? Not you, apparently. Just don't beat me! this week. <clears throat> hey, man. Great to have you back. Please, really, thanks. How's your record coming? Uh, you know I was working on a record. <laughs> it's, uh, it's going okay. I think it could be big. Big? I see we're a little cocky. Sure, I mean, uh, am I uh, I be night? Hell no. No way, but a brother's gotta have dreams. Yeah, but what's the point of having a dream you can never achieve? When was the last time you even sat down to work on that record? Wow. Are you really trying to convince me that you could be anything more than a sad amalgamation of cells, hernias, and disappointment? More than a sad amalgam. Please, uh, you.
So, what's the plan? Cyclico. Is that code? It's a real estate firm to which Frank and the Honorable Reverend Goodman are intimately tied. They bought the old library downtown, demolished it, and now they're putting up a new convention center. Part of their attempt to flip the neighborhood. Despite the arrangement Frank had with Vera. So what, uh, we're gonna dig up some dirty paperwork? Mail it to the feds? Hell no. We're gonna swing by the construction site, maybe use a few explosives to, uh, create some unsafe working conditions. Slow labor down. Hop in. What's next? When we get to the site, we're gonna work our way up to the top tower and plant a few explosives. Then we're gonna get a good distance and make fireworks. Where'd you get the explosives? They were in Lewis's stash. A gun runner? A gift, in case we got out of that ambush alive. Why does it smell like chemicals? It's like they ain't ever heard of freedom, yo. Best part about Street of Dreams is they don't ask questions. Ever. In my line of work, I always got a lot of guys coming and going. Thanks to the streets convenient freeway side location, my customers ain't gotta waste time trying to be. Business ain't never been better. See, we believe. Let's do this. Those elevators should get us to the top of the towers. We'll each take one. Plant your package over there! Let's go. That was fun. We should do it again sometime. Yeah. What are you doing Saturday? <laughs> Seriously?
seriously, though. Thanks, Jason. Sure. See you soon. Time listeners know I am quite convinced that an ancient evil, the likes of which the world has never known, is sleeping directly beneath us and will one day awaken and tear out of the desert like an angry god, thirsty for the blood of wicked men. But since that's not happening right now, and all is fine, I suppose that's the end. This is Barry Joe. You're listening to 101.4 Classic Vibes. Classic Vibes. Vegas, you're listening to 101.4 Classic Vibes. Very special happening happening later. I've managed to get my hands on an original 45 demo from the legendary Chucky e. Baster. Now, Chuck Baster, as I'm sure all my listeners know, instant classic LPs before succumbing to paranoia and locking himself in a shack in battle. and declaring himself the king of Bastoronia, a small sovereign nation, population one. As a result, we haven't heard anything from Chucky since 1974, but while rummaging through some used record bins at an estate sale last month, I stumbled across a rare gem. It's an acoustic demo of Baster's early single, Chicken Chicken Clocks a Ticket. And we're gonna take it for a spin later on this afternoon right here on 101.4 Classic Vibes. Vito. 
those carpets and cleaning. You didn't see nothing. Hit the jump. Bring me my chin. Move your neck. Shooters on deck. All we do is win. 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 Hit the gym, flex. Bring me my chin. Are you, uh, lucky? That depends. Are you Vera's friend? Yeah, Jason. Then yes, I'm lucky. Let's go play some blackjack, shall we? Yeah, sure. I'm feeling hot. Now just let the dealer know you're ready. Hit or stay. Nice. 18. Don't want to go over 21. Let's stand. Very nice. Let's head over to the video poker now. Let's bet the max. Let's do this. Hold on to those queens. Ditch the rest. Nice. Two is okay and all, but there's nothing like a three-way. Now let's... All right, let's take her for a spin. Let's go all the way. We're just lucky. That was fun. Let's do it again sometime. See you around, Jason.